Today's video is brought to you by Factor. Yo, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the living room. We're the Octobers, and and honestly, I should probably eat before we start. Babe, can you make some dinner? I don't have time to make dinner. We got work to do. <laughs> Luckily, I ordered Factor. Factor takes the stress out of meal planning and sets you up for success. Skip the grocery stores, prep work, and cooking fatigue. Instead, get chef-crafted, dietitian approved meals delivered right to your door. With over 35 meals to choose from per week, including options like keto, calorie smart, vegan and veggie, and more. With our busy lifestyle, man, I really hate going to the grocery store, but with Factor, all I really have to do is just go over to the fridge and I got something delicious and quick. Which saves us time on meal planning, cooking, and doing the dishes. Factor makes eating healthy for you so convenient. Get chef-prepared meals on the table in two minutes with Factor's ready to to eat meals so you can get back to doing what you love this spring. Just head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code OCTOBERS50 to get 50% off your first Factor box and 20% off your next month of orders. Guys, that's code OCTOBERS50 at factor75.com for 50% off your first order and 20% off your next month of orders. All right, guys, so now my stomach growling is not gonna interrupt the movie. I feel like a million bucks. I feel good. Let's go. Let's go. So I know you guys were probably not expecting us to drop the Shawshank Redemption today, but I haven't seen this movie. Mrs. October hasn't seen this movie. And you guys have been saying that this really is one of the best movies ever made. So I'm really excited to see it. If you are new here, man, we are the Octobers. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, hit us up on Patreon. If you guys want more content, I'm ready to go. Let's go. Let's go. When I think of Shawshank Redemption, I just think of somebody stabbing someone in jail and then getting redemption. Yeah, me too. This came out in 94, so we were two years old. Is this her first Morgan Freeman movie on the channel? No. What else was he in? Oblivion. Oh, he was, wasn't he? So was Jamie Lannister, and we forgot about that. Like, I, do, I did put it in my archives, and then I was like, why does Jamie look familiar? Oh, yeah, because he was in Oblivion. Well, I didn't forget about it. I just didn't know. <laughs> A couple Sus shillings? Suspicious item. Oh. <gasps> A Glock. <laughs> Ain't no Glock. <laughs> oh, no. Mr. Dufresne, describe the confrontation you had with your wife the night that she was murdered. Oh. So he's in court, this man. It was very bitter. She said she was glad I knew. Two she time said, in. I'll see you in hell before I see you in Reno. Those were the words you used, Mr. Dufresne, according to the testimony of your neighbors. I really don't remember. I was upset. What happened after you argued with your wife? That's not a good thing to say in court. She packed a bag to go and stay with Mr. Quentin. Len Quentin. <laughs> this nerd. <laughs> Your wife's lover. Did you follow her? And they weren't home, so I parked in the turnout and waited. I thought it was a suicide. Mostly I wanted to scare them. You went up to the house and murdered them. No. I got back in the car and I drove home to sleep it off. Well, where I get hazy is where the cleaning woman shows up, finds your wife in bed riddled with 38 caliber bullets. Oh my gosh. So either he did it or someone set him up. Right. Coincidence, Mr. Dufresne, or is it just me? Yes, it does. Very convenient. I love movies like this. I'm so, <clears throat> yes. Police dragged that river for three days and nary a gun was found. So there could be no comparison made between your gun and the bullets. They didn't find the revolver? Very convenient. Since I am innocent of this crime, sir, I find it decidedly inconvenient. Wow. Right. Me too. But the they same said they found it with 38 bullets, though. So. Oh, the 38 caliber? Yeah. Oh, shoot. Yeah, he's pretty much like. Kind of beyond circumstantial there. We have the accused at the scene of the crime. We have footprints. We have bullets strewn on the ground, a broken bourbon bottle. And most of all, we have a beautiful young woman and her lover lying dead in each other's arms. But was their crime so great as to merit a death sentence? Now, while you think about that, think about this. A revolver holds six bullets, not eight. Oh, man. You right. put two more in. Right. Extra bullet her lover right in the head right she ain't got no remorse too does she <laughs> look at her it shows my blood just to look at you dang i hereby order you to serve two life sentences back to back <laughs> so begin why do Locked they do that why do they say that like what? you can only serve one life sentence realistically though right it's almost like don't give the next freak something to aim for you know what i'm saying uh, yeah, like, if just... the best you can do is life then you can't really top that you know the next guy wants to have 12 life sentences you know what i'm saying right i don't know there's probably something behind it but you know it sounds silly so, to me we see by your file you've served 20 years of a life sentence yes sir you feel you've been rehabilitated absolutely sir. i mean i learned my lesson i'm a changed man no longer danger to society that's god's honest truth <laughs> <laughs> oh, dang. Basically, there ain't nothing he could say. Well, he had me convinced. 
Was that like his parole hearing? Right. <laughs> but he's kind of old, though. Well, he said he's been there 20 years. That's what I'm saying. He's not really a danger to anyone, probably. Well, I mean, he could still be, but. What if he's in there having a 20 year plan? Gotta go. Same old shit. I'm up for rejection next week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got rejected last week. There must be a con like me in every prison in America. I'm the guy who can get it for you. <laughs> a bag of reefer, if that's your thing. Damn near anything within reason. What's a Sears and Roebuck? I don't when know. Andrew Dufresne <laughs> came to me in 1949 and asked me to smuggle Rita Hayworth into the prison for him, I told him, no problem. A whole female? I think so. <laughs> what? That prison yard looks like death, doesn't it? That but would it, suck. It looks like kind of like a little town, though. I mean, yeah, I guess it's cute in that type of way, but geez, I wouldn't want to spend 20 years in that thing. Mm -mm. Andy came to Shawshank Prison in early 1947. He'd been vice president of a large Portland bank. He gave it all away, huh? Mm -hmm. You speak English, but stay. You follow this officer. Why are all these guys in like their 40s that are committing crimes? I know when it's in the 40s. Hey! Fish. That's a common thing. Yeah. Taking bets today, Red. All right, who's your horse? Eight from the front. He'll be first. Oh, bullshit. I'll take that action. Yeah, me too. You're out some smoke, son. Is that? Chubby fat ass there. The no. Fifth one from the front. Put me down for quarter deck. God, that was Green Goblin. I must admit, I didn't think much of Andy the first time I laid eyes on him. Looked like a stiff breeze would blow him over. What do you say, Red? <laughs> that guy. <laughs> Never happened. That's a rich bet. Haywood? <laughs> Digger? <laughs> or brave souls. Turn yourself off. That was gambling back in the 40s in jail? Yeah. Well, they're taking some type of bet on something. Look, they all got on nice hats, too. I'm Mr. Norton, the warden. You are convicted felons. Rule number one, no blasphemy. The other rules, figure out as you go along. When do we eat? He didn't like that. You eat when we say you eat. You piss when we say you piss. You got that, you maggot dick motherfucker. <laughs> I believe in two things. Discipline and the Bible. Here you'll receive both. Put your trust in the Lord. Your ass belongs to me. Damn. <laughs> well Welcome said. to Shawshank. Best introductory, like, jail statement of all time, right? Yeah, that's pretty fire. Unhook him. That sets the tone, doesn't it? Run around. That's enough. Awesome. What? Around. Move out of the cage. Go to your left. Pick up your clothes and Bible. Pick up your clothes and Bible. That's how they dry them off. They ain't got no towels. What you think they're about to sit there and towel you down? What is that? First night's the tough. Baby powder. They march you in naked as the day you were born. There you go. And when they put you in that cell, that's when you know it's for real. Nothing left but all the time in the world to think about it. Most new fish come close to madness the first night. Somebody always breaks down crying. The only question is. Who's it gonna be? Oh, that's the bet. The bet, yeah, yeah. There you go. I had my money on Andy Dufresne. I'd have said Dufresne. Yeah, I would have too. Lights up! Hey, yo, let me know in the comment section if you went to prison and what was it like. <laughs> <laughs> like for real, let me know. <laughs> is it really three hots in a cot? No wonder they start to cry. They be. The boys always go fishing with first timers. There's some they hecklers. Don't till they reel someone in. Hey, fat ass. Fat ass. Oh, it's him. Me, boy. Know you there, I can hear you breathing. This place ain't so bad. I'll introduce you around, make you feel right at home. A couple of big old bull queers that love to make your acquaintance. God, uh. I don't belong here. We have a winner. <laughs> oh, go and it's fat ass by a nose. That's so terrible. I don't I want my mother. I had your mother. She was the last race. What the crisis is, happy horse shit. Gotta let me out of here. What is your malfunction, you fat barrel of monkey spunk? I ain't supposed to be here. You will shut the fuck up or I'll sing you a lullaby. Please. Man, shut up. I'm not supposed to be here. Open that cell. Oh, he's about to beat him up, ain't he? Oh, no. Oh. <gasps> oh, my God. It's his fault, too. Oh, my God. Dang. <gasps> Dang. See, if me or you did that, we'd be in prison. We'd be serving those three life sentences we were talking about. Mm -hmm. If I hear so much as a mouse fart in here the rest of the night, you will all visit the infirmary. Every last motherfucker in here. They don't want to go there, apparently. Take that tub of shit down to the infirmary. I mean, that'd suck to have to whoop all of them like that, though. <laughs> that'd get tiring. <sighs> 
Bandit Dufresne cost me two packs of cigarettes. <laughs> he never made a sound. Here for South. Clear. Roll out! That's pretty organized. Yeah, this has more of... This just seems harder to navigate in the prison break world. Yeah. But a lot of fights happen in there. What was he looking at like that? I don't want to know. His sandwich or his butt? I don't know. <laughs> Dude, like you wanted to eat both of them. <laughs> They're eating worms. Are you going to eat that and plan on it? <laughs> Do you mind? Is that a That's delicacy? Nice For him? Oh, he's got a Aww. bird. Kind of like Charles with the cat. Yeah. On prison break. Jake says thank you. Oh. Fell out of his nest over by the plate shop. I'm gonna look after him until he's big enough to fly. Oh, he wants oh, to give freedom no, to the bird. Here he comes. Fine morning in it. I'm I'm all lined up here, just like a, a pretty little chorus line. <laughs> Richmond, Virginia. Smell my ass. I a terrible shame about your horse coming in last and all. <laughs> hey, Tyrell, you pulling for me duty this week? How's that horse of mine doing anyway? See it? Whoa. Adley busted his head up pretty good. Wow. Adley already gone home for the night. Old bastard laid there to this morning. So the guard murdered him. Wow. wow. What was his name? It didn't fucking matter what his name was. He's dead. That just goes to show the contrast and perception right there. Because he said that's what makes it matter the most. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Told you. Anybody come at you yet? I could be a friend to you. Hey. Anyone who offers it that hard? Pass. Why'd that guy slot in like that, though? Hard to get. <laughs> I like that. He's up for the challenge. <laughs> and it kept pretty much to himself at first, trying to adapt to life on the inside. What a throw. <laughs> <laughs> They're making double plays and stuff. <laughs> you said. As it turned out, that somebody was me. I'm Andrew Dufresne. Wife killing banker. <laughs> Why'd you do it? I didn't, since you ask. <laughs> you gonna fit right in. <laughs> Everybody in is innocent. You know that? Hey, what, what you in here for? Didn't do it. Lawyer fucked me. <laughs> <laughs> Rumor has it you're a real cold fish. What do you think? I had made up my mind. <laughs> I understand you're a man that knows how to get things. I wonder if you might get me a rock hammer. What is it and why? What do you care? Well, if it was a toothbrush, I wouldn't ask questions. I'd just quote a price. But then a toothbrush is a non-lethal object, isn't it? <laughs> Rock hammer is about six or seven inches long. Looks like a miniature pickaxe. Pickaxe? For rocks. Rocks. So I'm a rock hound. I'd like to be again on a limited basis. Or maybe you'd like to sink your toe into somebody's skull. I have no enemies here. No. Yes, you do. Sisters have taken quite a liking to you. Sisters? Boss. I don't suppose it would help any if I explained to them I'm not homosexual. <laughs> Neither are they. I have to be human first. If I were you, I'd grow eyes in the back of my head. Well, if there's any trouble, I won't use the rock hammer. Then I'd guess you want to escape. I missed something here. It was funny. You understand when you see the rock hammer. <laughs> okay. My normal markup is 20%. That's it? 20%? Price goes up. Price goes up. It's making it even 10 bucks. 10 it is. Was that a lot in the money, 40s? Yeah, it's a lot in jail. Is that? Folks who run this joint love surprise inspections. They do catch you with it. You don't know me. You mentioned my name. We'd never do business again. Not for shoelaces or a stick of gum. Now, you got that? Thank you. Mr. Uh... Name's Red. 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 Okay. Why do they call you that? Maybe it's because I'm Irish. <laughs> what does that have to do with anything? <laughs> <laughs> he's laughing like he's trolling I him or something. why some of the boys took him for snobby. He had a quiet way about him. He strolled like a man in a park without a care or a worry in the world. I liked Andy from the start. Come on, but got a schedule to keep. Move it! Uh-oh. The smuggle wow, going how down. You doing? Oh, that's how How's he gets the, the stuff? Yeah, I think so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he did all this for like three bucks. <laughs> I finally got the joke. It will take a man about 600 years to tunnel under the wall with one of these. <laughs> oh, no. Aw, he's like a walk-in librarian. Delivery for Dufresne. Cigarettes are the currency. Right, yeah. <laughs> it's cool they got their own economy in here. Yeah. Here you book. We're running low on Hexite. Get on back and patch us up some. <laughs> well, that scared the hell out of me. Brother. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, they tricked him. Oh. 
There you go. You fight better that way. I wish I could tell you that Andy fought the good fight. I wish I could tell you that. Mm. But prison is no fairy tale world. He never said who did it, but we all knew. Dang, so he got him. Things went on like that for a while. Every so often, Andy would oh, show God. up with fresh bruises. Sometimes oh. he was able to fight him off, sometimes not. <laughs> that was his routine. Poor guy. I do believe those first two years were the worst for him. Two years? But then in the spring of 1949... I need a dozen volunteers for a week's work. It was outdoor detail. More than 100 men volunteered for the job. He's got a little pool. Wallace <laughs> E. Unger. Ellis Redding. <laughs> Wouldn't you know it? Me and some fellows I know were among the names called. <laughs> Only cost us a pack of smokes per man. That's pretty cheap. <laughs> I made my usual 20%, of course. Because that was a delivery fee for that one guy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> sorry to inform you, but your brother just died. Iron, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm not. He was an asshole. <laughs> Ran off years ago. Figured him for dead anyway. Your brother died a rich man. Jeez Louise, you gonna see any of that? 35,000. That's what he left me. That's great. That's like one in the sweepstakes. <laughs> sweepstakes. <laughs> Some shit. What do you think the government's gonna do to me? Poor Baron. Crying shame. Some people really got it awful. <laughs> Here, you figure the tax wrong? You gotta pay him out of your own pocket. He puts his hand in your shirt and squeezes your tit till it's purple. That's kind of true, though. They're all, they're having that argument in the 40s. <laughs> yeah. Hey! Do you trust your wife? Oh, you better funny. shut up. What I mean is, do you think she'd go behind your back, try to hamstring you? Step aside, Mert. This fucker's having himself an accident. Because if you do trust her, there's no reason you can't keep that 35,000. What did you say? 35,000. <laughs> All of it. All of it. Every penny. Tax free. Tax free. IRS can't touch one cent. <laughs> You're a smart banker would kill his wife, aren't you? I suppose I can set it up for you. I don't Nearly. Miss. Three beers a piece for each of my co-workers. Co-workers, get him. That's rich, ain't it? Working outdoors feels more like a man if you can have a bottle of suds. <laughs> it's only my opinion. What are you, Jimmy, staring at? Back to work! That was intense out of nowhere. I know. <laughs> Jeez. Wow. The convict crew that tarred the plate factory roof in the spring of 49, drinking icy cold Bohemia-style beer. Dang, he hooked the boys up. Wake up while it's cold, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Felt like free men. We were the lords of all creation. Why am I like happy for them? They're in jail. <laughs> uh, right. That's what's weird, right? Dang it. He was like an alcoholic before. Yeah, he didn't even have one. Want a cold one, Andy? Gave up drinking. Dang, he even asked for it. I think he did it just to feel normal again. Yeah, true. I've been thinking of getting a board together. I'm the guy that can get things. I want to carve the pieces myself. I think Sounds kind of use. fire. Why'd you do it? I'm innocent, right? He obviously mm -hmm. did it, right? Or no? I don't know. What are you in for? Murder. Only guilty man in Shawshank. <laughs> oh, wow. He's not afraid to say he did it, huh? Bro, he did all that? That's impressive. Oh, he's writing Andy. So you don't know. This is where the canary is, John. Look, he's so into this. <laughs> <laughs> ah, wait, 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 wait. When she does that shit, what I have. Me? <laughs> <laughs> they love that. <laughs> yeah. They don't ever get to see any women. Stand here, man that knows how to get things. <laughs> what do you want? This is raised. Can you get her? Take a few weeks. Thanks. That lady? I don't really know. Uh, I mean, yeah, they're talking about her, but I don't know why. Maybe that's code for something? Bro. Dang. this over with. Nah, don't give in, my friend. There you go. I'm gonna open my fly. And when you swallow mine, you're gonna swallow roosters. You don't broke his nose. I think you ought to have something to show for it, huh? And I'll put all eight inches of the steel in your ear. You should know that sudden serious brain injury causes the victim to bite down hard. They have to pry the victim's jaws open. Ah. Uh. Where do you get this shit? Bro, just don't do Reed. it. Just walk away. Not a read. You ignore his fuck. Fox didn't put anything in Andy's mouth. What they did do is beat him within an inch of his life. Oh my gosh. Andy spent a month in the infirmary. Boggs spent a week in the hole. That's it. Time's up, Boggs. It's your world, boss. I'd stab him in his nuts. He kept coming after me like that. Ooh. What? Oh my god. He doesn't like that going on in his prison, probably. No! Oh, wow. That's what you get, bro. The sisters never laid a finger on Andy again, and Boggs never walked again.
Oh, wow. To my knowledge, he lived out the rest of his days drinking his food through a straw. I'm thinking Andy could use a nice welcome back when he gets out of the infirmary. So he kind of likes Andy then, the mm -hmm. guard. I figure we owe him that much for the beer. Let's get him some rocks. That's crazy. So he won over the guard. He earned his respect with the beer thing in a sense. Yeah, because well, because he remember he helped with his like money. That's so sweet. They're they're getting him rocks. Some serious contraband though. Put that in your socks. Catch a charge for that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah look. Hey, would that is soapstone? What are you, a fucking geologist? Mm, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, what the yeah, hell? How the heck was he supposed to know? Oh shit. Petrified. Ew. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, he thought he was helping. Despite a few hitches, the boys came through in fine style. And by the weekend it was due back, we had enough rock saved up to keep him busy till rapture. Also got a big shipment in that week. Playing cards with naked ladies on them, you name it. And of course, the most important item, Rita Hayworth herself. What is it, a fat head or something? <laughs> <laughs> oh, like a poster, probably. <laughs> Oh, heads up! They're tossing the cells. <laughs> What's that mean? Like they're. It looks like they're about to go through them and like you know toss them. Look for contraband. On your feet. Please, you Please don't find it. I like when the guard likes them. Dang. So they're like looking for. Are they looking for something? Or are they just doing that to everybody's? Um. Well, they said earlier in the movie that they they go through the contraband a lot. Remember? Oh, just to like make sure they don't have shanks and stuff. Right. Up. Apparently, they try to keep a really fine prison. Face the ward. Pleased to see you reading this. Any favorite passages? Watch ye therefore, for ye know not when the master of the house cometh. <laughs> Mark 1335. But I prefer, I'm the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. John chapter 8, verse 12. I hear you're good with numbers. Man should have a skill. Well, explain this. For shaping and polishing rocks. A little hobby of mine. Let them be. <laughs> Some contraband here, but nothing getting a twist over. Can't say I approve of this. <laughs> but I suppose exceptions can be made. Aww. But they did destroy his room, though. I know, I hope one of those dudes... God. I hate to deprive you of this. Salvation lies within. Yes, sir. One of those dudes needs another financial situation to pop up, though, so Andy can buy some more goodwill for a while. <laughs> right. Dawson sales was just an excuse. Norton it's wanted to good. size Andy up. <laughs> My wife made that in church group. You enjoy working in the laundry? No, sir, not especially. Well, perhaps we can find something more befitting a man of your education. <sighs> Oh, that's that bird that old man had. Mm -hmm. Hey, Jake, where's Brooks? It grew up. Andy, <laughs> I thought I heard you out here. Well, I'll give you the dime tour. Well, here she is. Shawshank Prison Library. National Geographics. Reader's Digest. Condensed books. Louis L'Amour. Every evening, I load up the cart and make my round. I enter the names on this clipboard here. Easy peasy. Japanesey. <laughs> question. Brooks, how long have you been librarian? I come here at odd five, and they made me librarian in 19 and 12. Dang. And in all that time, have you ever had an assistant? No. Well, why me? Why now? I don't know. It would be nice to have some company down here for a change. You're free! I'm Deacons. Thinking about maybe setting up some kind of trust fund for my kids' educations. So. Oh, wow. That's what he's good for. Let's see. The financial advisor to the prison? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm dead, guys. Do you have a piece of paper and a pencil? Deacons. <laughs> and then Andy says it, Mr. Deacon, Harvard or Yale. He didn't say that. God is my witness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I near swell myself. I know. <laughs> Andy, you know. We're going to feel France, are Andy? I'm a convicted murderer of a wonderful <laughs> pet to have. How about expanding the library? And ask for pool table. <laughs> right. Right. Nope. <laughs> Tighter than a snare drum. See. More walls, more bars, more guards. I'd like to try, with your permission. Uh, I'll write a letter a week. So Andy started writing a letter a week. This is just about this man who comes into prison and just makes it better for everybody. Yeah, I that's what it seems like. Like Martin yeah. said, Andy got no answers. Wow. <laughs> Year after that, he did them all, including the wardens. 
So they have to trust him, kind of. Yeah, absolutely. Guards on the opposing teams all remembered to bring that W-2s. <laughs> so Warsby Prison issued you your gun, but you actually had to pay for it. Yes, sir. And it was a regular cottage industry. We need him. In fact, it got so busy. <laughs> we really do. We really do. He was allowed a staff. Taxes are going to be you weird this year. Give me a stack of ten forties. Got me out of the wood shop a month out of the year. That there was you go. fine by me. And still, he kept sending those letters. Oh. Please, bro. Yes, just Damn calm the fuck just down. down. What What's wrong with them? them? Okay. Say my goddamn. What the hell's going on? Don't you tell don't me. Tell me. It's just one second he's finding out. Come the knife. I'm gonna cut his fucking throat. Haywood? Hey, and that's what they done. I got, I got no choice. Brooks, you're not gonna hurt Haywood. Uh, I know that, sir. You know why you're not gonna <laughs> hurt him? A, Brooks, Brooks, look at me. Put the knife down. Look at his. Is he just getting old? I don't know. It's the only way they let me stay. Come on, this is crazy. He's getting released. Come on. <laughs> hey, come on. I'll be all right. Yeah, yeah, what about me? Crazy old fool got down there, cut my throat. Oh, shit, hey, would you pass away from shaving? I didn't do nothing. I come in here to say fairly well. Look how mad he's looking it's at him. Where's the throat come through? Oh, no. She's he... getting out. Oh, he's probably been in there so long. Like, what does he have? Institutionalize my ass. The man's been in here 50 years, Haywood. In here, he's an important man. He's an educated man. Outside, he's nothing. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, that sucks, man. Oh my gosh. You believe whatever you want, Floyd. But I'm telling you, these walls are funny. First, you hate them, then you get used to them. Enough time passes, you get so you depend on them. That's institutionalized. You can never get like that. Say that when they've been here as long as Brooks has. They send you here for life, that's exactly what they take. Great line. I know. Hard poor guy. Anyway. I mean, not too poor. He obviously did something really terrible, but. I know, but he doesn't want to go. You feel bad for him, though. I can't take care of you no more, Jake. No. Oh. You're gone now. You're free. That's so sad. It's just a bird. Yeah, leaving this place is a death sentence for him. I mean, not literally, but like, what's he supposed to do besides shrivel away? Oh, they all had a nickname for him. Oh. Why does he have to be so dang adorable, too? It's a whole different world. Dear fellas, I can't believe how fast things move on the outside. I saw an automobile once when I was at now. They're everywhere. Oh, that'd be a mind fuck, dude. For real. He's only seen it once. In a big damn hurry. Parole board got me into this halfway house and a job. It's hard work. I try to keep up. Make sure your man double bag. Make sure you double bag, like the lady says. Aww. I go to the park, feed the birds. I keep thinking Jake might just show up and say hello. He never does. He's just so lonely now. I have trouble sleeping at night. Wake up scared. Sometimes it takes me a while to remember where I am. Maybe I should get me a gun and, and rob the food way. I could shoot the manager while I was at it. Sort of <laughs> like a, a bonus. I oh, guess I'm too old sad. for that sort of nonsense. I'm tired of being afraid all the time. I've decided not to stay. I doubt they'll kick up any fuss. What you doing, bro? <sighs> we both know what he's doing. Don't do it, man. Oh, I thought he was hanging himself. Oh my God. I jumped the gun on that. <gasps> Bro, that is so sad. The people that are going to get out of jail are going to go to this halfway house and see that and remember him. He's just so lonely. That's terrible. Yes, tell Haywood I'm sorry I put a knife to his throat. That is the worst. Oh, my gosh. He should have died in here. That was deep. The state has allocated the enclosed funds for your library project. Whoa, they gave him money? It's $200. Please stop sending us love. <laughs> I want all this cleared out before the warden gets back. Yes, sir. It only took six years. To get $200. <laughs> well, that was a lot back then, yeah. right? Instead of one. Uh, I believe you're crazy enough. I'm gonna go pinch a loaf. <laughs> Ew. Okay. Dang, they got some records. First time he's heard music. Did he just locked that guy in there? What's he doing? Oh, he's playing it over the PA system. He's letting them all listen to music? Right. <laughs> Even the guards are like, huh? Basically, Andy just came in and changed the culture, huh? I have no idea to this day what those two Italian ladies were singing about. Some things are best left unsaid. No, that just made everyone happy? Every last man at Shawshank felt free. It pissed the warden off something awful. Frame, open that door! <laughs> <laughs> he's about Turn to get in trouble, up. isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Turns it up. He's about to get in trouble. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, they had to take that kind of force that's over. Two weeks in the hole for that little stunt. <laughs> he <laughs> didn't beat him though. <laughs> Couldn't play something good, huh? Hank Williams or something? Right, a week in the hole is like a year. I am Mr. Mozart to keep me company. So they let you tote that record player down there, huh? He's in here. 
in here. Uh -oh. Played a mean harmonica as a younger man. Didn't make much sense in here. Here's where it makes the most sense. You need it so you don't forget. You forget that there are places in the world that aren't made out of stone, that there's, a, there's something inside that they can't get to. That they, so he's just trying to keep his soul touch. intact, huh? Right. It's yours. Ever since Brooks, like, that was a prime oh. example. Hope. Hope. Let me tell you something, my friend. Hope is a dangerous thing. Hope can drive a man insane. It's got no use on the inside. You better get used to that idea. Wow. Like Brooks did. Is he up for parole again? It says here that you served 30 years of life sentence. You feel you've been rehabilitated? Oh, yes. Yeah, Without a doubt. And I can honestly say I'm a changed man. No danger to society here. God's honest truth. Absolutely rehabilitated. 10 years of saying that. They're about to deny him again, aren't they? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Every year. He was so young too in that picture. He looked like he was like 22 or something. You wonder where it went. I wonder where 10 years went. Little parole rejection present. Go ahead. How'd he get one? <laughs> Had to go through one of your competitors. I hope you don't mind. I, I wanted to be a surprise. Oh, a harmonica. I used to try to play that to get the dogs to howl. Don't you have one in your desk beside your bed? <laughs> Maybe. Thank you. I think you do. You play it? Not right now. Oh, he wanted him to be in touch with the outside world. He used to play it when he was little. Yeah, because he's lost hope. So he wanted to give him some. <laughs> Who's that, Marilyn Monroe? Yeah, the iconic picture of her over the, um, what no, is that called, it. event? Yeah. Yeah. Link, buddy. <laughs> They're like buddies now, aren't they? Something like that. When they made that statement earlier in the movie, he asked him, are we friends now? And he said something like that. <laughs> yeah. And it was as good as his word. He wrote two letters a week instead of one. The state senate finally clued into the fact they couldn't buy him off with just a $200 check. Appropriations Committee voted an annual payment of $500. Annual? Oh. Just to shut him up. <laughs> Let's go. And just you'd be to amazed how far Andy could stretch it. Treasure Island, Robert Lewis. He can read. A fiction, adventure. I got here uh, auto repair and soap carving. Trade skills and hobbies. Goes under educational. Stack behind you. Count Monte Crisco. That's Crisco, you dumb shit. <laughs> By Alexandre Dumas. Dumas. <laughs> Dumas. You know what that's about? <laughs> You'll like it. It's about a prison break. We'll be able to file that on the educational, too, oughtn't we? And they had transformed the story and from the smell of rat turds and turpentine into the best prison library in New England, complete with a fine selection of Hank Williams. Wow. <laughs> a pool table might be next. The Warden Norton instituted his famous Inside Out program. It made all the papers. And Our inmates will be put to work outside these walls. He's been oh, like road work and stuff. So they started that. Of course, Norton failed to mention to the press that bare minimum of expense is a fairly loose term. <laughs> there are a hundred different ways to skim off the top. Oh, my Lord, how the money rolled in. <laughs> you can underbid any contractor in town. I've got a family to feed. Yeah, that's true. Damn. I need this new highway contract. I don't get it, and I go under. Mm -mm. You think about that. Oh, is the warden dirty? And I wouldn't worry too much about this contract. So he's going to get people to outbid for and the contract now. Absolutely. Behind every dollar yeah. turn, that was Andy keeping the books. Two deposits, Maine National and New England first. Oh my gosh. Oh, no, not behind Oh, he's that. got a freaking vault behind that. Not thing. behind it. <laughs> so they're profiting off this life. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Dang, he even puts it directly in the safe. It's bad for everyone. It's even bad for the taxpayer, I think. Get my stuff down the laundry. I'm looking bake with shit. <laughs> Sir, a river of dirty money. Well, that's where I come in. Channel it, filter it, funnel it. So he's cleaning the money. Clean us a virgin's Clean. honey butter. Well, that's Clean. not exactly what I was going to say, but close. <laughs> he retires. I'll have made him a millionaire. But yeah, but catch on, though. He's going to wind up in here wearing a number himself. Wendell Stevens. Mm -hmm. If they trace anything, it's just going to lead to him. I conjured him with thin air. Oh, mm. So he's not real. <laughs> he doesn't exist. Very smart. You can't just make a person up. I'm sure you can. It's amazing what you can accomplish by mail. Social security number? You're shitting me. If they ever trace any of those accounts, they're going to wind up chasing a figment of my imagination. <laughs> so he's like a lot smarter than my we thought. Is, mm -hmm. I had to come to prison to be a crook. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> he LOL'd. He really did. Do you think he gets any of that money for when he gets... Oh, he's doing two life sentences. Yeah, he's, he's not never getting, getting out. out. Yeah. New prisoners? Of the Fonz. Tommy Williams came to Shawshank in 1965 on a two-year stretch for B&E. Young punk. Cocky as hell. Hey, come on, old boys! We liked him immediately. So finally the voice says, 
You hear what I said, boy? Yes, sir. I sure did. But if I drop this fucking thing, you got me on destruction of property, too. <laughs> they all look older, you don't they? Stretching cash bin, right? Yeah, I've been in and out since I was 13. Perhaps it's time you tried a new profession. He's so proud. You don't seem to be a very good thief. What are you in for? Lawyer, fuck me. Unbelievable. Spitting in. Everybody's innocent in here. Don't you know that? He's not the fish anymore. Right. Tommy had himself a young wife and a new baby girl. Something lit a fire under that boy's ass. Well, there you go. Don't waste time on losers, Tommy. I ain't no goddamn loser. We do it all the way. Nothing half-assed. Don't read so good. Well, That's why you're a thief, huh? <laughs> you don't read so well. We'll get to that. So Andy took Tommy under his wing. That's some good handwriting, though. Boy found brains he never knew he had. Prison time is slow time. Andy built a library. Now he needed a new project. Tommy was it. The same reason he hung his fantasy girlies on the wall. A man will do most anything to keep his mind occupied was lovely Raquel. <laughs> I didn't get a fucking thing right. Might as well have been in Chinese. Two points right there. There's your goddamn score. Fuck it! Dang. He has test anxiety? Is that what that meant? I don't know. <laughs> He's proud of you. What's he in here for anyway? Murder. What the hell you say? <laughs> Bought his wife in bed with some golf pro. Oh, he Why? can't process that. He's in Thomaston on a two to three stretch. About six months left to go. Get a new cellmate in. Elmo Blatch. He never shut up. Places he been, jobs he pulled, even people he killed. I say, yeah, Elmo, who'd you kill? He wakes up, gives me shit. So he killed him. I mean, this tasty bitch he was with. <laughs> Yo, you think he did it? <laughs> it's the best part. He's in a country club. She married some other guy. <laughs> Some hot shot banker. They're just ain't no shot. He's the one they <laughs> right. Did wow. Yo, so he really is innocent. That's the most amazing story I ever heard. He hears your tale of woe and quite naturally wants to cheer you up. You think he just fall to his knees and cries? I did it, I confess. You know that wouldn't matter. With Tommy's testimony, I can get a new trial. Yo, Yo he, he doesn't want him out. Dress, right, he gorgeous. needs him. Couldn't you be so obtuse? Did you call me? Is it deliberate? Son, you're forgetting yourself. I would never mention what goes on in here. I'd be just as indictable as you for laundering that money. Sir, I, I didn't Solitary, a month. Yes, sir. Whoa. I, what's the matter with you? It's my life, don't you understand? It's my wow. Life. So that warden is just dirty as hell, basically. In the hole. That's crazy. Jesus. Board of Education. Some really? bitch mailed it. You're gonna open it? You're gonna yeah. stand there with your thumb up your butt. <laughs> <laughs> probably passed. He probably did. Kid passed. Let's go. Thought you'd like to know. Oh. That might be what keeps him going in there. Oh, you look rough. Warden wants to talk. Right here? That's what the man said. Why? Warden? Tommy? I thought it was gonna be the guard. Ready to beat him up. I'm asking you to keep this conversation just between us. Feel awkward enough as it is. Bribing him already. We got a situation here. I think you can appreciate that. I sure can. It's got me up nights. That's the truth. The right thing to do. Sometimes it's hard to know what that is. You understand? I need your help, son. If I'm going to move on this, I have to know if what you told Dufresne was the truth. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Would you be willing to swear before a judge and jury, having placed your hand on the good book? Just give me that chance. That's what I thought. <gasps> Shut up! He just passed. And it was him, too. Oh, my gosh. Corrupt as hell in there. They're going to say that he tried to escape because he was outside of the jail. That's why they did that. I hate this movie, man. I mean, I love it. This is going crazy, but that's... Uh. I'm sure by now you've heard a man that young, less than a year to go, trying to escape. Oh, Captain Hadley's heart to shoot him. We just have to put it behind us. Move on. Done. Everything stops. Get someone else to run your skills. Nothing stops. You will do the hardest time there is. Oh, jeez. I'll protect you from the guards. Pull you out of that one bunk Hilton. Cast you down with the sodomites. Mm -mm. And the library? Gone. Sealed off brick by brick. I'll have us a little book barbecue in the yard. Where am I being obtuse? That Next time you get really on my nerves, him. I'm going to say that to you. Why? Maybe you're being obtuse. That word really hurt him. A month to think about it. Oh, good lord. The only thing left to improve in the prison is the management now. Mm -hmm. My wife used to say I'm a hard man to know. Closed book. Complained about it all the time. She was beautiful. God, I loved her. Just didn't know how to show it. That's all. I killed her, Red. I didn't pull the trigger. I drove her away. And that's why she died. Because of me. The way I am. Don't make you a murderer. Bad husband, maybe. Feel bad about it if you want to, but you didn't pull the trigger. Somebody else did. And I wound up in here. Bad luck. It floats around. Gotta land on somebody. My turn. That's all. I was in the path of the tornado. Her thing. <sighs> Expected the storm would last as long as it has. You think you'll ever get out of here? You might not want to if 
he only knew. One day, when I got a long white beard and two or three marbles rolling around upstairs, they let me out. I'll tell you where I'd go. To Watton Hill. To what? To Watton Hill. A little place on the Pacific Ocean. You know what the Mexicans say about the Pacific? They say it has no memory. That's where I want to live the rest of my life. Oh. A warm place with no memory. Open up a little hotel. Can't go with that. Sounds like a lot of paperwork. I know. Say what the nail. Place like that, I could use a man that knows how to get things. I don't think I could make it on the outside, Andy. I've been in here most of my life. I'm an institutional man now. It's like Brooks was. You underestimate yourself. I don't think so. In here, I'm the guy who can get things for you, sure, but outside, all you need is the yellow pages. <laughs> and I wouldn't even know where to begin. Aww. That'd scare me to death, something that big. Not me. I didn't shoot my wife, and I didn't shoot her lover. Whatever mistakes I made, I paid for them, and then so That hotel, that boat, I don't think that's too much to ask. Fair enough. I don't think you ought to be doing this to yourself, Andy. This is a shitty pipe dream. I mean, Mexico is way to hell down there, and you're in here, and that's the way it is. Yeah, right. That's the way it is. Because it comes down to a simple choice, really. You get busy living, you get busy dying. He's about to prove his innocence somehow. Yeah. Andy. And he's persistent. You've seen the letters he sent. If you ever get out of here, do me a favor. Sure, Andy. Anything. A big hayfield up near Buxton. You know where Buxton is? A lot of hayfields up there. One in particular. It's got a long rock wall, big oak tree at the north end. It's like something out of a Robert Frost poem. Where I asked my wife to marry me. I went there for a picnic and made love under that oak and asked, and she said yes. Damn. Sounds good. <laughs> Promise me, Red. If you ever get out, find that spot. Be some black volcanic glass. Be something buried under it I want you to have. What, Andy? What's buried under it? If it's still there, it's been years. You done turn that into a subdivision. I know. No, I'm telling you, the guy's is talking funny. I'm really worried about him. You gotta keep an eye on him. That's fine during the day, but at night he's got that cell all to himself. Oh, they think he might. What? Andy come down to the loading dock today. He asked me for a length of rope. rope. Oh no. Six feet long. And you gave it to him. How was I supposed to know? Remember Brooks handling? No. And he'd never do that. Never. I don't know. Right, that last talk. Every man has his breaking point. Yeah, when you know you're innocent and the you system is just going to make sure that they're burying you like that. Three deposits tonight. My stuff down the laundry. And shine my shoes. I want them looking like mirrors. Dang, taking advantage of it. Good having you back, Andy. Place wasn't the same without you. So rude. What's really rude is that flooring right there. Yeah, I know. Make you sick. He just sits there and takes it, too. That sucks. He's like, don't do it, Andy. I've had some long nights in stir. Alone in the dark with nothing but your thoughts, time can draw out like a blade. That was the longest night of my life. Oh, he is worried. Is he not there? Man missing on tier two cell 245. New Frank, get your ass out of here, boy. You're holding up the show. He's just asleep, probably. Don't make me come down there. I'll thump your skull for you. Damn it, New Frank, you're putting me behind. You better be sick or dead in there, I shit you not! You hear me? Oh my god. Oh my holy god. He hung himself. That's his shoes? On every man on this cell block question. Start with that friend of his. Did he escape? Did he scuff his shoes up? That was the warden's shoes. Instead of polishing them, he scuffed them. I don't know. I thought, no, he traded shoes. Don't say oh, that is that what he did? Yeah. Oh, I thought don't he scuffed them up. No, because he cleaned up the sure shoes and then his shoes are in there. I see that, hey? Think I'm blind? Am I blind, hey? No, sir. What about you? You blind? Tell me what this is. Last night's count. Mm hmm You see Dufresne's name there? Dufresne. He was in his cell at Lights Out. Stands a reason he'd still be here in the morning. I want him found. Well, where is he? Right. It had to do with that rope, because he had that, and that was the end of it. Well, I see you two all the time. You're thick as thieves you are. Lord, it's a miracle! Man up and vanished like a fart in the wind. Nothing left but... Damn rocks Probably on said no blasphemy sill. in his freaking. And that cupcake on the wall. Maybe she knows. What say there, fussy britches? <laughs> Feel like talking? Why should she be any different? This is a conspiracy. That's what this is. One big damn conspiracy. He's paranoid because he's doing it. some bad stuff in there. Climbed out the wall. Oh. oh, he dug a hole in the wall. How long did that take? Oh, so those pictures of them girls have always been. It's always been a. Oh my gosh, guys. Because he didn't do that overnight. That's Chill, for sure. dude. That was cool. In 1966, Andy Dufresne escaped from Shawshank Prison. Dang. <laughs> All they found of him was a bar of soap and an old rock hammer. He used that rock hammer. Wow. It took him years. Wow. 
Oh, Landy did it in less than 20. Oh, the idea came to him. So he didn't get the hammer originally. Right. For that. And then he took all the rocks he made and then he appealed to his meticulous nature. He used all those rocks age here. to hide them. Geology is the study of pressure and time. Pressure and time. That in a big goddamn poster. The one he supplied him with every year. <laughs> like or, I said. Not every year, but whenever. In prison, a man will do most anything to keep his mind occupied. That's why he didn't say nothing all that time, guys. He was tired all day from staying up all night. And his favorite hobby was toting his wall out into the exercise yard. Oh. <laughs> and full of the time. Did he put it in his pants I guess and let after it go? Tommy was killed, and he decided he'd been here just about long enough. Look at his split. Want to get home? Mm hmm. Mm. That's the evidence, isn't it? Or he took that money. Three deposits tonight. And it did like he was told. Buffed those shoes to a high mirror shine. The guards simply didn't notice. Neither did I. How often do you really look at a man's shoes? Oh, wow. He's got clothes. Bro, he tunneled through that whole thing. Oh my gosh. No wonder it took 20 years. So he needed that rope to hang on to his stuff, I guess? Yeah, it's just an all-purpose rope. I'll probably use it a couple times for a sudden run. Remember when you bought that rope at Dollar Tree? Yeah, I just that, found it. That wasn't for sale? Yeah, you just I really needed that. They charged me a lot for that little <laughs> stupid rope. He waited for a stormy night. Wow, so they couldn't hear him banging on that pipe? I guess so. Oh, gross. Bro, that's a sewer pipe. Yeah, he said it's worth. Hell yeah, it's worth. Disgusting. And to crawl to freedom through 500 yards of shit smelling foulness I can't even imagine. Mm. Or maybe I just don't want to. Me either. Can we skip this part? Ugh. 500 yards. That's the length of five football. I was about to say, fields. that's five touchdowns. Five 99 yard, 99 yard touchdowns. Yeah. Ooh, that sewer came right out of that creek like that. There you go. You're trying to get in creeks all the time. I'm wild. I'm country, guys. <laughs> Please make it to Mexico. Is that the movie poster? It should be. Not. I think it is. When the I clicked on the movie, morning, I'm pretty sure he was doing this. Right about the time Raquel was spilling her little secret, a man nobody ever laid eyes on before strolled into the main national bank. Until that moment, he didn't exist. Randall? Except oh. Except on paper. He had all the proper ID. Wow. He outsmarted everyone. Whoa. And the signature was a spot on match. I must say, I'm sorry spot to be Spot on match. I hope you'll enjoy living abroad. Thank you. I'm sure I will. Here's your cashier's check, sir. Will there be anything else? Could you add this to your outgoing mail? I'd be happy to. They usually charge for that. All told, he blew town with better than $370,000 in Norton's money. Severance pay for 19 years. The Daily Bugle. We know about that. It's over. Mm, you better get in a cell, buddy. His judgment's coming. <laughs> <laughs> My wife made that at Bible camp. Whatever. <laughs> No, he didn't. There's just no way. The ultimate blasphemy. He had that Bible in his hand that one day in the jail. Oh my God, when he tossed the cell, he gave it back to him. Byron Hadley, you have the right to remain silent. I wasn't there to see it, but I hear Byron Hadley started sobbing like a little girl when they took him away. Oh man, they hate that guy in there too. He's Norton like, had I'm no next. intention of going that quietly. What a coward. Don't I thought, shoot yourself. I thought he was gonna shoot them. No, nah, he's probably gonna shoot himself. Or he might get in a shootout with them. We have a warrant for your arrest. Open up. Nah, he's shooting himself. Oh, wait, no, never mind. Why does he need six more? Right. You better be a good shot. Oh, my oh. God. I really just wasn't expecting that, honestly. I guess you didn't know what he was going to do. He had to make the choice. I like the last thing that went through his head, other than that bullet, was to wonder how the hell Andy Dufresne ever got the best of him. Not long after the warden deprived us of his company, I got a postcard. He knew how bad that was about to be. It was blank. But the postmark said Fort Hancock, Texas. Fort Hancock, right on the border. That's where Andy crossed. When I picture him heading south in his own car with a top down, it always makes me laugh. <laughs> Andy Dufresne, who crawled through a river of shit and came out clean on the other side. <laughs> Andy Dufresne, headed for the Pacific. Handley's got him by the throat, right? I believe this boy's about to have himself <laughs> an uh, accident. Oh, are they telling stories about him? <laughs> Where the stuff he pulled. These friends of mine could use a couple of beers. <laughs> Sometimes it makes me sad, though, Andy being gone. Mm -hmm. I have to remind myself that some birds aren't meant to be caged. Their feathers are just too bright. And when they fly away, the part of you that knows it was a sin to lock them up does rejoice. But still, the place you live in is that much more drab and empty that they're gone. I guess I just miss my friend. 
Yeah, he spent a long time with him. Up for parole again. Oh, please get your time. I know. I feel like crying too, babe. I'm not going to do it, but geez. I feel it. Very emotional. Ellis Boyd Redding, if I'll say you've served 40 years of a life sentence, you feel you've been rehabilitated? Rehabilitated? Well, now let me see. No, I don't have any idea what that means. Well, it means you're ready to rejoin society. I know productive. what you think. To me, it's just a made-up word. A politician's word. So that young fellows like yourself can wear a suit and a tie, have a job. What do you really want to know? Am I sorry for what I did? Well, are you? There's not a day goes by I don't feel regret. I look back on the way I was then, a young, stupid kid who committed that terrible crime. I want to try to talk some sense to him, tell him the way things are. That kid's long gone. This old man is all that's left. I gotta live with that. Rehabilitated. It's just a bullshit word. Cause to tell you the truth, I don't give a shit. They're like, what the hell? <laughs> well, this makes this process easier. <laughs> <gasps> no way why because there's new people in it like a new reform just like a new changing of the guard yeah maybe so or maybe he finally just 40 years is enough you know like they're just humans you got to convince them you know maybe he finally just did wow now i feel bad for everyone left please find that rock no i feel like this is going to be the one brooks was in <gasps> i knew it Working at the same same store, maybe? Maybe it's like this is what they do when you get out of jail, you get the halfway house and the store job. Yeah. Restroom break, boss. You don't need to ask me every time you need to go take a piss. That's kind of sad, bro. Because he's not used to it. Yeah. 40 years I've been asking permission to piss. I can't squeeze a drop without say so. I couldn't imagine having to ask permission for that. There's a harsh the truth things. to face. No way I'm going to make it on the outside. All I do anymore is think of ways to break my parole. Same so story. Send me back. Terrible thing to live in fear. Brooks Adlin knew it. Knew it all too well. All I want is to be back where things make sense. Where I won't have to be afraid all the time. Only one thing stops me. A promise I made to Andy. Yeah, he did get that compass. I was wondering why it showed it like that. I hope it's all Andy's like real money that he earned. What a nice spot, man prettiest view he's had in years. Andy's kind of his hope. That's what's so good about the story. So the, the movie's really about him and how he got hope through Andy. It's the wall. A long rock that shouldn't belong there. He really did love rocks, didn't he? That's the black um, stone he used to come out. The glass. It's wild how long the things sat there, untouched. Not a lot of money. Couple stacks, no problem. Probably a lot back then. Well, this is like the 70s now, isn't it? 80s, 70s. What? Dear Red, if you're reading this, you've gotten out. And if you've come this far, maybe you're willing to come a little further. You remember the name of the town, don't you? Crazy, bro. Say what to nail. I could use a good man to help me get my project on wheels. I'll keep an eye out for you. The chessboard ready. Remember, Red, hope is a good thing. Maybe the best of things. And no good thing ever dies. I will be hoping that this letter finds you and finds you well. Your friend, Andy. Wow, so he planted that after he escaped. He just already knew about the spot and knew he was gonna plant it there for him. That's Aww. so cool. So he's looking out for him the whole time in there. Get busy living or get busy dying. That's goddamn right. So is Red. <laughs> for the second time in my life, wow, I'm guilty of committing a crime. A roll violation. Of course, I doubt they'll toss up any roadblocks for that. Not for an old crook like me. Old Hancock, Texas, please. I find I'm so excited I can barely sit still or hold a thought in my head. I think it's the excitement only a free man can feel. A free man at the start of a long journey whose conclusion is uncertain. I hope I can make it across the border. I hope to see my friend and shake his hand. I hope the Pacific is as blue as it has been in my dreams. It will be. I hope. No way. Wow. He looks different, don't he? Freer. Wow. Was that good or what? Oh my God. All right, guys. So that was the Shawshank Redemption, baby. What do you think about this movie? Wow. Just if you just put aside that it was mostly about like convicted felons in jail and stuff, which like I think was a great like aspect of it. But, you know, like obviously like some people like to argue those people did crimes and stuff like why would you care? Blah, blah, blah. I'm one of those types. Yeah. Like um, there's that argument. But I just wanted to say like that was a wholesome, beautiful story, regardless of like the circumstances and it's definitely one of my top 10 that's for sure um just every, start to finish it was just like you you thought you were thinking one way but this man had 
It's kind of like Michael Schofield in Prison Break. I was getting a lot of parallels, especially yeah. when I realized he escaped. It all sort of made sense. Like, bro, like so much of the Michael Schofield character, even it's his based mannerisms. Off this, yeah. Yeah, I can definitely see that now. This, if you guys haven't seen Prison Break, definitely go check it out. If, if you're you like this, this yes. Um, it's not the same type of thing. It's more modernized, that's right, for, sure, for sure. But It's a TV show. But this right here, this was beautiful. This came Wasn't out in 94. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my goodness gracious. I am now open to watching all films in the 90s <laughs> well we've always been open to that but now especially this one was amazing i loved right. it i loved it from start to finish what did you think about it well every time you say that you get comments like what's wrong with that you know you yeah get those comments. yeah i do get comments what's the wrong assumption with that? is that when things are really old guys i mean if you if you take movies obviously the 90s isn't that far away but if you take things to their extreme obviously we don't really want to watch movies made in the 20s right you know what i'm saying i mean like we're down to watch them but i know like most people have moved past that so I get what you're saying, but you gotta right. be sensitive with people on the Right, end. I know. I'm sorry. I, I wanna say I wanna say just like I'm with this channel, I was like kind of leaning towards like we would watch more newer things, like things that are new that came out. But in order to do that, we have to watch the things before. So I'm just saying I'm 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 enjoying this journey though of the things right. prior. I think what we're trying to say is I think there's this connotation that older movies are maybe outdated or past our time. Not true. Right. Well, a they keep getting rebooted. Classics. That's why yeah, I'm considering yeah, exactly. that. Like every time I turn around, one of these so-called classics are getting rebooted. So like, it's good to just see the classics for how they are. Right. Absolutely. All right, guys. So that was a Shawshank Redemption. I thought this movie was phenomenal. I thought it was so good, man. I thought that, you know, it really brought you into this gray world where you realize people that are locked up and stuff. I mean, they're just, you know, they're convicts and they've committed terrible crimes and a lot of them do deserve to be there. But at the same time, like humanity has to shine through at some point. And I definitely understand that. And, you know, I feel like the whole, I, I mentioned it in the movie, but the movie seems to be more about red and his story narrated by red more than Andy. Andy was just, you know what they used to tell the story of red, but ultimately Andy represented hope to him and humanity. And, yeah. And humanity. And yes. there was this big question in the beginning. Did he do it or did he not? And the, story, the movie didn't really explain the conspiracy. How did someone do that? How did they pin it on him? They didn't really dive into that because I guess that part. It wasn't really about that. Yeah, it wasn't really about that. No. It was irrelevant. But I was glad to see that Andy didn't do it. Um, well, he never was sitting there arguing. Did he do? He was never like telling everyone, I'm innocent, I'm innocent. He wasn't like, like a real innocent person would do. Yeah. So that made it like the questionable thing. Like, yeah. you know. But but I think all of that was just all that whole thing was just to set red up. Right. Well, he in didn't a, have in a, a good way. He wasn't very dramatic. So right. Um, crazy story, guys. Basically, I thought the whole prison was just absolutely corrupt. Everything from the warden to the guard. Ultimately, that bit him in the ass and his judgment came. So and he basically used his brain to manipulate these guys. And he did it for a really long time. And, you know, I just thought the movie was really great how they didn't say that. Andy waited until, you know, he didn't get that tool in the beginning to escape prison. Like that right. was circumstantial after the fact. And so he was kind of down to just, I mean, I guess in a sense, like early on when he was in prison, he was portraying that there was all this hope and humanitarian things that needed to surface. But the reality is, is he was sort of down on himself too. He didn't have any plans on escaping. He mm -hmm. was, but then that lit a fire under him and he re, I guess, established his purpose. And I think just seeing all those people in there, getting to know all the convicts, the ones that he was standoffish to, over time, you know, like you said, he became one. Mm -hmm. You know, like when he made the joke about how he was innocent and all mm -hmm. that. And I think he just realized that it's just bigger than him, man. He wanted to do something for Red because ultimately that was his family at the mm -hmm. end. And I think that was the saddest thing with Brooks. It wasn't really necessarily that, you know, he died alone or it wasn't necessarily that he had trouble adjusting. But to me, the saddest part was ultimately when he left that prison, he was separated from his family and... Yeah, don't get me started. Like, don't get me started on that. That was like the most emotional part because he's just a helpless old man. And yeah. like, when you think about anyone of that of that nature, like if it's your grandparent or something, them coming out, like he has nobody for him. He had nobody because it was fifty years. Like, yeah, I'm sure you lose ties, you lose hope of that person coming out. He said he saw a car as a kid. Yeah, and he then he's like, everyone's in a busy, in a hurry all of a sudden. Yeah. Like, and then so like if you think about it, you're that generation. Like that generation's always complaining about the generation, the next one. Yeah. So you're thrown into this generation with like you have nothing to stand on. You know what I'm saying? Imagine that. Like that's why it hurt for it hurt right here for him because like I always like to complain about the next generation jokingly and stuff like, but I couldn't imagine getting thrown into like a world 50 years later and having to, you know. And if I did one thing, not talking bad about the old man, but even if that did happen to me, I'm not hanging myself ever under no circumstance would I ever do something like that. 
Um, but it was just really sad that he did. But um, incredible movie, guys. I, I really thought this was one of the best movies I've ever seen. I mean, mm. the movie was pretty straightforward. It wasn't some great shocking twist at the end other than him escaping. It wasn't something. No, it was a twist. The twist to me was when we found out Randall wasn't really a fake person. Randall was going to be his identity. I literally thought That's what he, I'm saying he just set him right, up the whole time. I felt man. like he had Randall there to if the IRS actually did come. Like I genuinely thought. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He covered yeah. himself. He basically he took advantage of the situation and he just played that warden all the way to the end. And you know, another thing is like the warden shoots himself. Like, dude, I don't know why everybody just has to just end themselves, bro. Like, yo, you did the crime, served the time. Like, don't be a coward, bro. I don't. I don't understand that. Um, very weird to me, but. Ultimately, I guess the worst person in this movie was the warden. Definitely, uh, he sucked. The he warden and the guard, hand in hand. Hundred percent. They were, they both were letting. And it, it was actually interesting because maybe that does open up your your mind to like just how many things like this like actually are corrupt, like with dirty money. And well, I didn't need this movie to open my mind to that, guys. That's just how. <laughs> well, I, I think. know, I know that that's a, obviously a thing that happens, but like you're just looking at it from like a '40s perspective, right? And you're kind of noticing like. Maybe it's out there, and and even things as serious as the prison. I don't Man, know. Man, corruption and manipulation has been around since the dawn of our species, guys. It is something that is it's built into logic. Any logical thinking, functioning human being is eventually going to come to the conclusion that ultimately life is work and competition. And unfortunately, everyone does not get to finish in first. And I know that we don't have a finite amount of resources. I don't really believe the argument that we all fight over resources necessarily. But at the same time like scam manipulation it's just part of like reality i mean that's right. just built into the grain of existence so um definitely wardens and stuff they're not going to be in my opinion man i don't think they're going to be above it i think they're going to be more susceptible to that type of behavior because ultimately they have the power but know? also with people's like people's like sentences and stuff like nowadays i feel like <coughs> back then he had a two life sentences that wasn't debatable but nowadays you can debate things like you can be like if you do this for me i can give you a shorter sentence la 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 well he probably got a short sentence all things considering i mean i'm just saying well i, I get what you're trying to say yeah, yeah yeah for sure there seems to be more of like a consistent standard and like when you book someone now maybe but maybe there's not i don't really know too yeah, much I don't, about the legal i don't system. either but i just know that people can go in and you know admit to things and get shorter sentences so it looks like that was kind of off the table i do know that if they arrest you they'll give you every charge under the sun so that way two of them will stick and so that way you'll eventually plead no contest and they'll threaten you that if you go to trial they'll tell you that if you lose this you're going to spend the rest of your life in here so that i think the whole i think just fundamentally it's kind of fucked up in that way but that's just my opinion guys um this movie was crazy, guys. Uh, one of the best movies I've ever seen. Recommend more like this, you guys. That's please. what I'm saying, man. This is one of those types of movies that are, it's just very mature. It's very raw. It's very real. It's a drama and it just invokes a lot of thoughts. So we really appreciate movies like this. Super captivating because it's just real life stuff, man. And stuff like this happens all the time. But yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Like always, we'll see you on the next one.